So welcome to today's program. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to provide a little background on this project and, and why we're here today. Um, as I imagine most of you are aware, Green River has been celebrating its 50th anniversary uh, this year, starting with activities in the fall. Uh, and this really is the culminating activity for the students um, component. And then the certainly the final activity will be commencement um, on June 10th. Um, Last year, when the planning committee started to meet about the 50th anniversary and determining events, uh, Rob Olson, who's in the audience and I was the college's facilities director, uh, said to the group, so you know the original flagpole is still standing and it's hidden in, uh, in the woods. Um, and none of us were really aware of that. And so uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the Rakowski Learning Center was the original building on campus uh, 50 years ago, and it was the only building on campus. And that was the college's entrance. And so that's where the flagpole was placed. But as the college changed um, and buildings got added, as we all know, the front, of the, the front and the main entrance of the campus changed, changed as well. So unfortunately, that flagpole just got forgotten um, out in the woods. And so at that time, Rob uh, and Sam Ball, who is also here, uh, took the students out to that location and showed them the pole and said, wouldn't it be cool to, to refurbish this and include it as part of the celebration? And the students got excited about that, right? I mean, when we talked about the 50th uh, anniversary, we, we talked about really celebrating, trying to celebrate the past the present and the future. And I think this flagpole project really does that. Uh, the past certainly is th that original flagpole. Uh, the present is the work that's been done to, to refurbish it uh, and today's activities. And then in terms of the future, the students are doing another time capsule, which you'll hear about uh, towards the end of this program. This was a project that also involved many groups to make it happen. Uh, so certainly uh, Rob brought the vision uh, to the group or the possibility, but then there was work that needed to be done to, to make it happen. And so Green River's welding students were involved in the project in terms of doing some work to refurbish it and some welding on the original pole. Uh, Rob Olson, uh, uh, Jack Wells, Sam Ball, um, and many others from the facilities department got the old one taken down, uh, taken to the welding program, um, and now uh, installed, so in its current location. Uh, and then certainly the Veterans Club and the Veterans Services staff, uh, the Associated Students, um, and many of others that are here today who made this program uh, happen. Uh, and so um, it is quite an accomplishment to see this um, come back around and it's fun to see some older faculty who were here then uh, when the original uh, flagpole was established. At this time I'd like to introduce uh, Green River College's very first president, Dr. Mel Lindblom. Uh, in 1965 Dr. Lindblom accepted the first flag um, from our local service members. Um, and we have a great photo of that, um, that once the flag is presented, we're going to try to recapture that moment. But I think Dr. Lindblom is going to share a few words with us first. I don't know why it is, but every time I've come here lately, it's been cold. But this is a, a, a fitting tribute to uh, at this time of the year, Memorial Day, and to raise the flag. And um, I don't quite remember all the details of that day, but uh, it was grand. Anyway, um, I think of this time of the year and to give tribute to veterans who have served and uh, to remember those who never made it back and to those who are still suffering the trauma of combat. And uh, I see these two young Marines and I think back, I was in World War II and saw them at Saipan and uh, Iwo Jima and Okinawa and uh, they were tremendous. So uh, this is a very fitting time and I'm very happy to be included in this ceremony. And uh, again, a 
tribute to our veterans. Thank you. And now we have Lance Corporal Kosselman and Private First Class Richardson who will present the flag. Part of our program involves the opening of the time capsule that was put together by the Associated Students 25 years ago. So at this time I'd like to invite this year's student body president, Ridwad Imbram, who will open the time capsule and talk a little bit about it. Hello, good afternoon, or good morning. <laughs> um, my name is Ridwan Ibrahim and I am this year's student body president. Um, I'm very excited to be a part of this time capsule opening and also to be a part of the flag raising ceremony. It is an enjoyable time and a very exciting time here during the 50th year. Um, at this time, I would like to open the time capsule from 1990, which is this one. Um, it has been in the Holman Library since the 20th year, 25th year anniversary um, of Green River College, and it was put together by um, the students. I believe it was student government who put it together, um, and it was to be open this year, 2015. But technically, the school year of 2015, which we still are in. Um, so I would like to open it and see what's in there and talk about a few things that are in there. So we have a um, VHS tape. Can I? <laughs> um, we do have a VHS tape, and we will be opening it um, and looking through what is in there. Sometime today, we got a TV or something like that in the new building, and um, we'll be playing it <laughs> to see what's in there because we on it. We actually don't even know what's. Um, what's taped in there. Um, we have a lot of newspapers from the current, a lot of, a lot of exciting stories in the current. <laughs> um, so yes, we have that. And then we also have a list of the international students from 19, 1989 to 1990. And um, as I look like through this, there's a lot of Japanese students during that time, but I guess, of course, it was 1989. Um, and then there's one student from Saudi Arabia. There's a lot of students from Kuwait, um, Japan again, Burma, Mexico. Wow, 
so cool. <laughs> um, and then here we have the food management control. This is actually from the cafeteria, that building. Um, it was our school cafeteria, and <laughs> it was so cheap. <laughs> um, we had, the, okay, let me read some of these. Hot dogs with a bun was like $1.50. I wish now it was the same. <laughs> um, two eggs, hash brown, toast, and jelly was only $1.85. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, coffee was only 45 cents. Can we please go back to that time? Um, I drink it every day. <laughs> um, salad was only 55 cents. Whoa. Um, desserts, 60 cents, 75 cents. Wow. <laughs> um, there aren't a lot of expensive stuff in here. The most expensive thing is like $2.95. Now it's like, what, $10? <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, and then here is the allocated. This is actually like um, a list of like the all of the allocated money. I don't know how to say that. Um, from what year? It's 1990. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then um, the thing I was excited about was opening this. Uh, this is actually the school catalog from a long time ago. And <laughs> there are some professors that I actually know that are in here right now that still work here. Um, Melissa, do you want to point out some people that are in here? Let's look, Let's look through this. <laughs> Um, there was I think Diane Anderson's in this. Yes. There she is. Yeah, you're in here. <laughs> photo directory. So all yeah. the items will be on uh, in the Student Life Office. If you'd like to make an appointment with Ridwan to go through it as yeah. well. Yeah, so faculty, if you guys want to see your old, I don't know if you guys still have these, but if you guys want to see your old, you know, pictures and stuff as well, um, they're all in here, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then... Um, here we have from fall 1990. Um, this is the enrollment. Um, how do I say? Like the classes. A lot of classes are in here, and um, like how many students uh, signed up for this class and this class. But this is only from fall of 1990. There's a lot in here, um, <laughs> and I think that's about it. I, I, there's a lot in here, but I don't want to go through everything today so um if you guys actually want to see some of these things and um look through them or whatnot you guys can but there is a deadline um where we're actually thinking about taking all of this stuff and putting it in a bag and putting it in the new time capsule that we want to bury um at hopefully by the end of june something like that um but the next thing I do want to talk about is the new time capsule that we want to put together. So we want to request everybody, students, faculty, staff, um, administration, anybody who would like to put something into the time capsule to um, contact me or go to the student life office and put whatever you will not put it but give it to us and then um, we will think about what to put in there or something like that but we haven't really thought about that yet but um, if you guys would like to put something in there like a note or a letter or a broken phone or something or a new phone you know <laughs> we can look at it from and we actually put the date 2066 so hopefully they open it 50 years later and um, we'll see the difference and we also want to put money in there and whatnot so if you guys would like to put something in there please come to the student life office and deliver it there um what else <laughs> yeah i think that's about it so thank you so much for having me and um this uh it's been a great day and this is a great tribute to all the veterans out there and um i just want to say thank you Thank you to everybody. Thank you for serving our country. And um, thank you for having me. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys.
So on behalf of Green River College, we really appreciate you uh, coming out and being part of this historic event. Um, I do know that there is a challenge coin that's in the, I think it's the first item, is that right? Yes. Uh, so it's got today's date on it, um, but that's a great segue to the next piece that we'll be doing. Uh, you're all invited for lunch and to come take part and participate in the 8th Annual Green River College Challenge Coin Ceremony. It's a lot of C's in that sentence right there. Uh, but please feel free, come in, um, help us honor and celebrate our veterans uh, uh, and uh, get some, some nice food from, from our, uh, our great staff here. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce Green River Jazz Voices. <laughs> Just sing it! Watch me sing! sing. 